Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and this fall along, we're going to be doing some things with uh, keys with an Azure Key Vault. So what I want you to do is make your way over to the keys blade on the left-hand side here. We're going to generate or slash import a new key. We're going to choose the generate option. In terms of naming, we're going to call this my disk key. And we are going to choose RSA 2048. That seems totally fine to me. Everything else seems okay. So we'll go ahead and create that key. So we'll give it a moment to create, doesn't take too long. And then what we're going to do is go on the left hand side to IAM access controls. And what we're, want, we're going to want to do is add a new role assignment so we can go ahead and start using this uh, key. So what I want you to do is go and look for key vault administrator, which is here, and we'll go ahead and hit next. And then for our uh, user, we will choose ourselves. So under user, I'm gonna select the members. I'm looking for the account I'm using. There I am, Andrew Brown. Go ahead and select that there. And so that is all we need to assign it so that we can actually uh, work with that key. So I think a good idea is to use a key uh, to encrypt a disk. So what we'll do is make our way over to disk encryption sets because before you can encrypt a disk, you need to have an encryption set. So we'll go ahead and create ourselves a new encryption set. We'll call, we'll use the, uh, sorry, the same um, a resource group. So it's very easy cleanup afterwards. We'll call this my disk encrypt set here. And in terms of the encryption type, we're gonna use double encryption because that's a much better. You have two keys that encrypt it, so that's a lot better. We are going to choose our vault. So we have my example vault. There's only one option here. And in terms of the key, we'll select my disk key. In terms of the version, uh, we'll select the current version. We'll go ahead and hit review create. And then we will go and create that. And we'll give it a moment to create that encryption set. Shouldn't take too long here. And after a short little wait, uh, our resource should be deployed. It only took about a minute for me. And if we go here, it's going to have this message up here. It's very small, but it says to associate disk image snapshot, this disk encryption set, you must grant permissions to Key Vault. So all we have to do is click that uh, alert and we'll grant permissions. And so now we are able uh, to use that key um, or like to, to uh, we're going to have the permissions issues is solved. So what we'll do is go to type and create a new disk. And so we can apply this key to that encryption. So we'll go ahead and create. We're gonna choose the same resource group here. I'm gonna call this my example vault and, um, or sorry, my example uh, disk, because that's a little bit more clear than uh, that. And for the availability zone, doesn't matter. For the source type, um, it doesn't matter as well. In terms of the size, we want this to be cheap. We're not really using this for real, so we'll use standard HDD. I will say OK. In terms of encryption, this is where things get fun. We go to double encryption. We choose our key here. We'll go ahead, review, and create. And we'll just give it a moment for that to, oh, we'll hit create, and we'll have to wait a little while here for that create that resource. So we'll just wait until that is created, OK? And after a very short while, the disk is ready. So we'll go to that resource. We'll go to the encryption tab to see that uh, encryption is applied. So that's all it takes to use a key to encrypt a disk. So we are gonna still use uh, some of these accounts. There's no cleanup yet. I'll go back here and I'll see you in the next one.